Welcome to the PLZ Soccer Show. Alan Ruff is alongside me, Peter Martin. Great to have you watching the programme. We are getting absolute pelters, Ruffy, for this programme at the moment because we've spent hours building this new yeah. wooden set. You and I have been up all night and now we're getting pelters. Yeah, I don't know why. It's, it's one of the best sets I've ever seen. I mean, you know some of the people are complaining, obviously, in high hierarchy and STV, but what, what do they know? Ah, what do they know about building sets? It's Listen, something. it's all about the football this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. St Johnston against Hibs. Uh, he's got a three-match ban, Neil Lennon, uh, possibly two on top of that if he gets into further trouble. Uh, that wouldn't bother him one little bit. Hibs are flying high. Do you expect him to see off St Johnston? Well, I think he'll be expecting it because if he wants to be second in this league, these are the kind of games that uh, they need to win. Uh, they've obviously proved they can go to Ibrox, they can take on Aberdeen, they can take on Rangers, but the St Johnson games will determine where they end up in this league. Yeah. Uh, what's your prediction? I think they'll nick it. Uh, I think obviously St Johnson had a good result, but again, it was against Dundee, so I'm not really looking into that. So uh, no, I think Hibs must possibly win 2 1. Yep, I'm going to go Hibs winning this <coughs> one 2 1 as well, Robbie. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, as far as the Saturday games are concerned in the Premiership, the game of the day is undoubtedly at Ibrox. It's Rangers against mm -hmm. Kilmarnock and Rangers trying to bounce <coughs> back after that 3-2 defeat to Celtic. The bad news, David Bates out for a lengthy period um, with that injury that he sustained in that game. Uh, so that's a blow to them. But Josh Windass, congratulations to him. He's the Premiership Player of the Month for February. Yeah, and he's done well in February. Obviously, the Cup games, he scored uh, a few goals in that one as well and a super goal against Celtic last week but again it's another wee test for Graham Murty he seems to be in tests all the time just now every time he gets a game coming up but uh, obviously Kilmarnock flying high they've beaten the Ibrooks before got the late goal the last time so I think they'll go there you know thinking they can take something out of this game yeah that's the measure of Steve Clark he, he would <coughs> like a top six finish uh, of course disappointment losing to Aberdeen and penalties in midweek yeah that'd be a blow but I think obviously top six you know I don't know if they can scrape into Europe, I would doubt that, but certainly since before he came there it was the bottom six that we're talking about, now they're looking upwards and that just shows you how much the changes have been at Kilmarnock. Yep, absolutely, okay. Um, as far as the <coughs> other games are concerned, Aberdeen against Dundee. Now, uh, when Andrew Considine comes out and just tells everyone that they reckon they can reach the cup final and pip Rangers to second place, I start to get worried about players who start uh, mouthing off early on. Do mm -hmm. your talking on the pitch. Aberdeen need to step up. I haven't seen signs that they can mm -hmm. actually pip Rangers to second. No, not in the recent form. Uh, it was a draw again, although they went through in penalties, but it was another game that they never won. I think that's four uh, the last four games. So they really need to get into winning ways. And I think obviously seeing the draw uh, against Motherwell, Aberdeen would expect to beat Motherwell. That's obviously f why he's uh, feeling so courageous and coming out with that prediction. But I think they really need to start playing better football to get second and get to the final. Yep, yeah, OK. As far as Dundee are concerned, he now knows <coughs> Neil mccann has got a notice of complaint for his little tete-a-tete -tete track side with mm -hmm. St Johnson's Xander Clark. Uh, listen, the forum's not great. He knows he's under a bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. He's got to produce something. I can't see Dundee getting anything from Pataudry. No, I can't either. And I think the, the worrying thing for Neil McCann is obviously that's two home games, losing four goals. If he was to go up to Aberdeen and Aberdeen do turn it on as they can do, uh, if they were to score a barrel load of goals, you know, when I say a barrel load, I mean five, you know, then I think Neil McCann becomes into a perilous situation. Yeah, five, you're covering your tail <coughs> there. I remember not too long ago, if you said Gordon Strack and Scotland side uh, lose by three, you should get the sack, and then suddenly he did lose by three, and you backtracked. Will you backtrack tomorrow, Ruffy? Uh, I, I don't expect them to lose five, but I, I think if they do lose five, and obviously other results go against them, I think he's he would have to come to some kind of decision. Yeah, okay, give me a prediction. I think it'll be three nothing Aberdeen. Yep, uh, I share your view on that one. Listen, on the Sunday, it's Motherwell against Celtic. What a blow Craig Tanner being out for Motherwell. <coughs> Stephen Robinson's got a huge task there. There's the semi-finals of the Cup. They could actually get to the Cup final top six. I had a chat with Stephen last week. He said he wants both. Greedy manager, can't knock him for that. Uh, Brendan Rogers says he's going to sit down with Scott Bain, interested in possibly short and long-term future. After one <coughs> game... 
Uh, I think he showed before, you know, that he, he has got uh, a future in the game, obviously. Uh, when he was at Dundee, he was nearly getting capped for Scotland, and then he picked up an injury and obviously fell out with the manager there. So he's, uh, he's sort of a success rate, has sort of a hampered him a wee bit, but in the evidence of last week, I know it was only one game, but obviously I think everybody saw that he could handle the situation. But I think Celtic will have, you know, some competition there, because I think Neil Lennon likes him as well. And again, we don't know what Dundee are going to uh, ask for him. I yeah. don't know what kind of money we're talking about there, but I would think De Vries will move on uh, 37. I think he'll move on uh, somewhere else. So obviously Craig Gordon, he's got to make up his mind does he want game time or does he want to just sit on the bench? Yeah, uh, Celtic getting ever closer to winning the title <coughs> again. After seeing off Rangers last week, I think they'll edge it against Motherwell. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the confidence will be high. You know, obviously, Motherwell uh, minus a, a really good player, as you were just saying there. But I think Motherwell have just went off the boil just a wee bit. So I think Celtic will win this one 2-0. Yeah, OK. Um, we'll see if that uh, transpires. <coughs> uh, other games, Hearts against Patrick Thistle. What a confidence boost for the Hearts squad. Uh, Craig Levine says he wants 7-10 to 10 yeah. new players in the summer. So some of them are on borrowed time and not before time. Uh, they're coming up against a Patrick Thistle say your old team mm -hmm. could lose <coughs> the you know Ian Maxwell to the SFA chief executive executive job wish I could say it mm -hmm. uh, and they desperately need a win Ruffy yeah they do they, they've went to uh, Tyne Castle before uh, when the situation has been as it is they've managed to get something out of the game and I think that's what Alan Archibald will be trying to do just take something out of the game just to keep the momentum going and as I said last week even though you pick up points at this stage of the season before the split it's always good to get them in the Bag. Okay, who's winning? I'm going to go for a draw. Patrick Thistle draw. draw. One okay. each. Uh, well, Hearts will get the draws <coughs> well then, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. <coughs> um, Ross County against Hamilton. This mm -hmm. is uh, down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. I think Stuart Kettlewell has to win this one. Yeah, they're running out of games, and I think <coughs> Martin Cannon and, and Hamilton will see this as a win will be safety because I think that'll open up a 11 point gap, uh, and Ross County aren't going to close that at all. So I think Hamilton Ackies will go into this game knowing that. Uh, a win up at Dingwall could be their saviour of the season. OK. Uh, I'm looking right now at the draw for the Champions League quarter-final stage. Barcelona against Roma, Seville against Bayern Munich, Juventus against Real Madrid, and the tie of the round at Liverpool against Manchester City. Uh, Niall Kane says, guys, who do you think uh, is the tie of the round in the quarter-final? Are you serious, Niall? Uh, are you serious on this one? It's Liverpool, Man City. And what a chance for Liverpool to put Pep Guardiola's side out because I've been a... Yeah. a a Liverpool fan since I was a boy, mm -hmm. uh, Ruffy, but uh, you know, it's heart and head here. You know, the heart says Liverpool, the <coughs> head saying Man City because I've tipped Man City to win the Champions Yeah, League. this will be a fabulous game. Uh, usually, when you get two English clubs uh, drawn together, they're not usually epics, they're usually ground out uh, wins. But uh, as far as the, I think the draw has just favoured the four big sides, and I would expect mm -hmm. the four big teams, the big names, to be in the, the semi final. Yeah, and who are the big names then? I would go Barcelona. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man City and Bayern. OK, um, I think Man City could be in the fight <coughs> with Barcelona. There you go. Uh, I'll throw that one into the hat as well. Uh, if you were going to choose someone else now, because obviously your team uh, were uh, battered out of the competition, mm -hmm. Paris Saint-Germain are out, mm -hmm. who would you go for? I'm going for Bayern. Uh, yeah. I, I think that uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona, as we all know, have wonderful sides going forward. I think if they're tested, and I'm sure Bayern can do that, I think over two legs, I think Germans might just shade that one. Yep, okay. Um, what about Arsenal, Europa League? Um, do you still think they can get all the way through to the final? Yeah, I've said it all along. Uh, I love watching Arsenal in European football. I think they play a brand of football that's good to watch on the eye when they are playing particularly well, and they did it again last night. Penalty. No, never. Shocking. shocking. Absolutely shocking. But embarrassing as well, Robert. Do you not think so? It is. And the, the, these are the th these, this needs to be stamped on. This needs to be, you know, set out to everybody else. If you're going to make a fool of everybody, this is what you're going to get ban wise. Yeah. CSKA Moscow <coughs> shouldn't hold too many fears for the nope. Gunners. Nope. Interesting. All the, the Russian teams were knocked out, uh, apart from them. Uh, so it just shows you that uh, Russian football isn't as big as what everybody was telling us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, there you are. <coughs> 
Could Ruffy just come out with something controversial? Could Ruffy be a spy? Answers <laughs> on a postcard, please. Um, anyway, uh, right now we are in uh, our set. We've been building it all night. Mm -hmm. um, we might even build a new one for Monday, Ruffy, because we've been working hard over the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, quite a lot of people um, gave me pelters a couple of weeks ago for wearing 80s gear. Um, yeah. After all, I'm an 80s guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think maybe we should get a new set and you wear your 1971 jacket that you won the League Cup yeah, final in? Maybe we should throw it out there, what kind of set people would like to see us in. Yeah, that's a really good point, by the way. We could build it. We've got a couple of technicians. We've got uh, Yvonne and Marco who would be up here all night yeah. building this set. Let's try and come up with a set that you'd like. Do you want a Space Age one or would you like a set that's possibly just a little bit more down to earth? Uh, give us your view on that at PLZ Soccer on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash PLZ Soccer. Don't forget, if you download the app <coughs> in the Google Store and the App Store as well, you'll get uh, all the live video shows that we have. If you've missed any show, you can get it again on our YouTube within the app and over and above that we've got competitions aplenty, latest <coughs> news from right across the globe. If you want to stay up to date with European, English and Scottish football, you can download the app and uh, uh, hopefully you can see a regular show and if you want all the latest news on the website on your computer www.plzsoccer.com from Ruffy and myself on the Starship Enterprise live long and prosper nano nano <laughs> <laughs>